Okay, to draw our George Rodriguez style blue dog, the first thing I want you to do is take your piece of paper, match up the corners, and fold it down the middle. You're starting with a portrait orientation on your paper, not landscape, but portrait. You're going to fold it down the middle so you have a fold in the middle of your paper. The fold is going to help us locate where our lines go. It helps give our drawing balance. So I'm going to be drawing with a marker, a Sharpie marker. You should draw with a pencil. I'm drawing with a Sharpie marker just to show you the lines more clearly. They'll show up more clearly in this demonstration with a Sharpie. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to come down a little bit. So this is the middle of your paper, a little mark. You're going to come down from your top, the top of your paper, just a bit. Make a little mark. You're going to draw kind of an egg shape. from the top mark to the middle of your paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is not perfect. It's kind of a weird lumpy shape. It's okay. The shape is how we begin. Now in my demonstration, I'm going to have some lines that shouldn't be there. With your pencil, you want to erase those before you add any ink or color. And we'll talk about those lines in just a moment as we go on. So the next thing you're going to want to do is make a couple of big eyes on each side of your shape. Make a little dot inside the eye. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to draw a shape it goes like this, it goes all the way down. It's almost like a sea lying on its back. After we have that, we're going to draw a big nose like that. We'll draw a little line under the nose, and a little curve like that. Let's make some little curves under the eyes just to make it a little more interesting. Now we're going to draw the neck. We're going to come over here, make a little mark on each side about there and there. We're going to come down like this, and then back up again. Next, we're going to draw some ears. We're just going to make some jagged lines to make our ears, because he's a mangy wolf. He's a wolf dog. Do the same thing over here, back the other way. Or the other side. And we'll draw the inside of the ear. Let's make two lines that go up to the top from our mouth shape. And let's put some zigzag line at the top. Okay, on the side of the face, let's make them look more scruffy. We'll put some scruff sticking out on the side of the face. Now you're going to, going to want to erase these lines. I can't erase because I'm using a Sharpie. There's lines here and here you'll want to erase. And these lines that are connecting the face to the, to the scruff, these lines inside you'll want to erase them. Okay. Let's put a couple of nostrils on our wolf. Okay, I'm making a boy wolf here, so I'm going to put him in a suit. 
And to do that, we're going to start at the neck, the corner of the neck. And we're going to make a curve that goes like this and a curve that goes like this. Now, if you're making a girl wolf, you could totally do that. You could put, instead of a suit, I'm going to put a bow tie and a suit on this wolf, but you could put a necklace and a dress on your wolf. You could put a bow on your wolf's head, on top of your wolf's head. You could put earrings on your wolf. You could put eyeglasses on your wolf. Anything that you like that will just make it funnier because this is not a serious wolf. To make the suit, I'm going to start at the neck, make a line that goes down to the middle. Make another line on the other side that goes down to the middle. I'm going to make a circle here, triangle on this side, triangle shape on that side, that's one side of the lapel, and that's the other side. Now we can put a little pocket here, put a little handkerchief in his pocket. Alright, this is pretty much our blue dog, our loop guru, our werewolf. Any details you'd like to add? You could add a, you could add a, a hat to this dog. If you want to draw him like this, you could draw glasses, you could draw a hat. Now when, when you color the wolf, you can use any colors that you have available at home. They don't have to be the colors that I'm going to show you in my demonstration. I use oil pastels and the color image I'm going to show you in just a moment. But you could use colored pencils, you could use markers. Your wolf does not have to be blue. Okay, I know it's George Rodriguez was very big on blue dogs, the blue wolves. You don't have to make yours blue. But make him a fun color. Stay away from colors like brown or gray. Make your wolf a fun color. Maybe he's red, maybe he's purple. We don't know. Whatever background you do, when you color in your background, make sure your background's very different from the color of the wolf, because if it's blue and blue, you're going to lose your wolf. Also, make the suit very different from the, from the wolf's face and the background. Look, make your color choices different. Now for the nose, your nose is probably going to be black. I'm just going to... Make a couple of marks here and fill it in. I'm gonna make sure I keep my little nostrils there, so I'm just gonna widen them up a little bit and then fill it in with black. On a suit, the tie will probably be black. But it doesn't have to be. You can make that tie any color you want to. Or you can make the tie black and make the suit a different color entirely. So, that's our drawing of our loop guru, our werewolf, inspired by George Rodriguez. And in just a second, I'm going to show you a, a color, a finished color version of it. And I hope you have fun drawing it.